teleprompters. Different sizes, because you asked. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos. Today we are talking about teleprompter sizes and comparing the two sizes uh, that I have purchased. One's a 12 inch here on the left and of course the 15 inch on the right. Now what you can see here is that they're both pretty big, aren't they? And um, I'm going to be showing you how they look on the desk, but first I want to show you how the camera stand, uh, the camera stands inside and locks in. Nice little attachment of a newer head. Now this is one of the ball heads that just rotates in any direction. You really want to go with something that's actually going to work in that way. And you can see here, uh, the camera will just sit on top and you can move it back or forth as much as you like. So if you do have a longer lens, you can go that route. And that's all that is. Now, when you're looking at it from a perspective of what you're trying to achieve here is that you would put this on a battery pack that would connect to the wall unit and then you would connect to HDMI clean out or if you're using a Canon or one of the other cameras, uh, their proprietary software that connects the cameras. And that's it. Now that will connect through. You pass this on, this material just goes over it. If you're using a small lens, just take it over the camera uh, as much as you can. And then if it's something that is a bigger lens, you just want it over the lens. Uh, that would be your best bet. You tighten this up and that's all. Basically, you're, you're just wanting to have the camera on there. Now, uh, the idea here is that once you put that on, you'll be able to see that mirror. So you can see this is mirroring off my desk, but whatever you do put, whatever you do put on one of these uh, little stands here, you're good to go and no complaints. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the, the desk. Now this is the example of the different sizing. I have set up the 12 inch on the side, the 15 in the middle. And of course I have my two big 27 inch monitors that are stacked. There is another monitor here that's a 15 inch, which is a replica of the one sitting on the 15 inch teleprompter. Now these are AOC uh, portable monitors. They're not the best quality, but to get the job done. On here, I do have a tablet. Now the, I'm using the software called Space Deck. And on Space Deck, you can pretty much connect that to Windows and it will just mirror or extend the monitor. So that's the screen that you're seeing right there reflecting. And of course, these monitors hook up like regular LCD screens that would be just extended to. And then we use this software called Ultramon that will be able to mirror the image and then you get the nice seagull there as well. I took this picture, it's pretty cool. Now, if you were worried about that mess in the back with the cables, I do have this nice cable covering that I picked up. It looks pretty cool. And of course, if you're gonna be setting up anything, one of these USB hubs, from StarTech will do the trick and I have all of this connected to one of these, connected to USB type C and we're good to go. On a more close up look here, the 15 inch is much bigger and it will take up more real estate where the 12 inch is more manageable depending on the size of your desk. And this is why I said it might be better for travel. At the same time, you are utilizing these for different scenarios. If I was just gonna be reading off a teleprompter, I would probably just be sticking with the 12 inch. However, for me, I'm using it more for those meetings. I wanna be able to see more people in there. And if I just will have one person, they're nice and big and I know I'm gonna be just staring right into the middle of the screen where the camera is sitting. So I'm going to be able to look directly into their soul. And this just takes the uh, idea of your professionalism to the next level. So again, the question is real estate on your desk. Is it better to go for 15 or 12? That is based on use case scenario. Looking at teleprompters online, if you go to Amazon, you'll find probably the best pricing. If you go to your local camera shop, it's gonna be super expensive, but you can see that once you do a Google search, uh, the prices are gonna vary between 100 to three, $400 based on whatever you choose as quality, based on the design. And of course, uh, you're looking at it based on your budget. And you wanna make sure you make a good purchase here, of course. So you're gonna be looking at the quality and how everything is made when you're making your comparisons. Now, uh, over here in Canada, we, we have the same price points or similar price points, just the conversion there. So it's around 30% more for us. But in some cases, some of these are going for the exact same price and it's very uh, interesting for me. Anyways, for most products, we do see that difference. Now, I did go for these 12.9 inches from Grow Find X. Uh, this company, I've never heard of them. I just uh, saw that 
the, the everything I was looking for with quality wise was here and of course they had good ratings um, but it wasn't just because they had the good ratings when you go down all the way to your reviews they actually have pictures and it was actually what I wanted to see how do people have these things set up and there were some people talking about them online now the 15 uh, inch was a little bit more uh, structured and more better for what I was looking for at the price point because everything that's 15 inch was over 300 plus dollars and I did go for these I, again Amazon for the last couple of years has been sending me opened uh, pre-used packaging and they say it's new I got both of these there were some scratch marks um, they uh, on the actual metals and then the 15 inch actually had an issue with uh, the material in the back as I've explained in the previous video so I mean that material the company I got in touch with them and they're like we'll send it off for you right away they uh, sent it over and the new material is awesome so I can't complain about the company uh, they made everything right this girl find X great company so if you're gonna be looking for a company for one of these uh, that was my experience and uh, it was a good experience overall now people have questioned why are these so much cheaper than the regular camera places and uh, the idea here is that they're made in China so if we go to Alibaba.com you can see if a quick search and you'll find a whole bunch of different ones you'll see a lot of these on sale in the Amazon and eBay and any other kind of uh, uh, other website that sells things like this online and for 118 to 150 people are just buying these in bulk and they're negotiating with the factory the factory ships them over they can you can brand them if you want to uh, all different price points for different needs so I mean this is what's occurring with this so when you're sitting there going where most of the stuff that's coming on through Amazon that's where they're coming from and a lot of these companies might be the same company and they're just um, you know making three different brands and selling the same thing now newer is a big company for camera gear and you'll find that their stuff you can't really find that easy uh, however it's all similar stuff it's not it's not anything that you couldn't look at and say um, oh I haven't seen this before this is quite similar to uh, some of the other products that you'll see out there so uh, do you automatically for something like this lose out um, no you don't I mean like this is going to be similar material it's coming from similar factories so don't stress it too much go for the cheaper price and of course the different features and make sure that it has uh, the quality there don't just go for cheaper price alone but cheaper price and quality now from all the people that did watch my videos uh, the questions I got were which one would you go for and uh, the honest opinion for me is the use case I'd like to keep both now um, at the end of the day I'm not but the 12 inch does fit the desk better it is smaller it's more convenient and it does the job great however the question is dedicated monitor now I can connect my tablet to the computer using a cable and it can be connected and be charging however it's not convenient for all the cases it has to have its updates you got to go through scenarios where if you restart your computer the app I was using just you know it would make clunk up and then I'd have to restart the app or I'd have to restart the tablet or I have to restart my computer because my windows would go all crazy and then I couldn't get my windows back to the structure I wanted now uh, I put the Ultramon on for the mirroring of the screens it's a 30 40 dollar software so then you're spending more money for the 15 inch if you want to go the of these tablets uh, to monitor uh, idea where you have these mobile monitors connected and now you can use this um, in, in that manner there is an issue with uh, the idea of the uh, Ultraman and some of glitches that exist when you're using OBS you have to get around those and one big thing that you got to think about and the only reason I started using Ultraman is that when you go into Windows and you want to rotate your screens you got to flip it horizontally and there's no feature like that you need to use a software like Ultraman now there are other softwares for Mac that work but in Windows there's like nothing and I don't understand why they couldn't just set up something where I can flip it horizontal now can you flip it horizontal yes but it's not like a flip horizontal it's more of a rotation this has to be complete uh, flip so that you can see you're writing the right way when it's projecting out 
into um, uh, to what people are seeing on the other side and so that you can read it as well. And that's why you need a proper flip. So it gets complicated and confusing. And once you set it up though, it's good to go and you got a bigger screen and you can see, you know, like I can't complain with the bigger screen here. Like it, it, it's great. And at the end of the day, that's what I wanted. And I want to be able to see more people, which is the benefit of that. So when I'm in my studio, I'm sitting here looking at people right in the eye, talking to them and having a better, more pleasant conversation, building rapport and making things a lot easier. Now, when I have more people in the meet, then it's much more easier to look at all the different people, see what is occurring in the chat, and it just fits more nicely and everything just goes smooth. So the 15 inch is for me the better pick. However, the 12 inch is more convenient. And if I had the 12 inch or the 15 inch and I was going out on a shoot and I know I needed a teleprompter, I definitely bring the 12 over the 15 because everything's mobile and everything's so simple and it's small it's click to close everything's attached no complaints good to go and you're done so think about that kind of aspect when you're looking at picking one of these uh the last thing i have to just uh say uh, like put in perspective what you're doing before you go spend money on this you don't not everybody needs this you don't really need this now when you get in front of a camera i don't use this to do any kind of conversation or anything like that or read through a script and try to none of that exists for me i just sit down i have my points i think about what i'm going to say and then i just do hey i might do a couple retakes here and there i've done this video like three four times who cares at least i'm being authentic it's coming out clear and it's making sense for me and the, the mistakes really count like when i see people complain and they're like oh he said literally so many times yeah i say i say that and i try to not to do it but i'm improving great you know that is the thought process of growth so you can be able to do this without a teleprompter that's my opinion as somebody who's been doing this for a while it makes sense to go that route i know when people are reading other tele teleprompter and sometimes it just it, it, it makes me feel like i don't want to watch the video because it's like do you know enough of what you're saying now, if you're preparing a speech for something, that's different. And a teleprompter suits it at that point. But if you're sitting in front of a camera and you can't speak your mind about something, that rubs people the wrong way sometimes. And that's something that you got to think about with you and the people that are going to be watching you. So make sure you put that into perspective when deciding to buy something like a teleprompter. The last question I was asked was about courses and building your courses. And people have been asking me specifically about scripted courses. And they're asking, hey, should I be scripting my courses? In my opinion, I hate watching people who script their courses. And primarily because if you're teaching me something, I want to know you know it, which rides off the last comment I just made or the last point I just made. The idea is that when I'm listening to you talk, I want to know that you know. And as an educator trying to create a course and, and teach it to people, I want to know that you understand it inside out. That's the key here. And if I'm listening to somebody that is scripted, then I'm wondering to myself, did they do that so they, they're perfect at what they're trying to do? Or is it because they haven't really got the foundations down and that's that? Now, recently I saw a course that I got into where it was all about uh, CBT, not CBD, CBT, okay? And cognitive behavioral theory. And I, I took this, uh, this course so I can upgrade my skill sets in that for my coaching practice. And I just, I had this, this person reading from the teleprompter and it was just kind of like, did you just take another course and just, are you repeating everything? Even their examples was scripted. And I was just like, how can you script your example? And the only reason I knew it was scripted because I could see them reading. Which brings me to an uh, add-on point to this is make sure your teleprompter is far enough so you don't see your eyes moving if you're going to be doing any kind of scripted material. Because I, that, that's the idea here that we need to focus on is authenticity. And if you're not authentic and you're not true to your craft, then what are you? And if you're looking like you just picked up another course and you're just grabbing everything and then just repeating it, it starts to put questions in people's mind of how much knowledge you have on the topic, how passionate you are. And of course, if you're going to be able to continue in your craft down the road so they can get behind you and support you. My name is Nikos. Leave your questions and comments down below. And of course, check out these two videos.